Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. Today I'm going to be just making a really quick video. just wanted to point out a couple of really awesome new features in GarageBand 10 and also maybe show you some stuff that you thought they got rid of but is probably just buried in a menu. Um, so anyway, let's, first thing I want to talk about is how awesome it is that we can now run 15 plugins per channel at a time. Um, I mean, not that you would ever want to run a full 15 on every single channel, but you can run 15 plugins at a time on a channel if you want. Um, so for example, here is your very normal, I just opened up a, a plain old microphone track <laughs> on GarageBand and it automatically gives you just these four slots for plugins. Now, if you want to add more than four, all you have to do is look, move the mouse in between them or at the edge. And hopefully you're seeing this little white line appears. Click on that white line and you can now just add in a plugin. Oops, I didn't do that right. <laughs> add in a plugin. Boom. There you go. Wherever you want. And you can add up to 15 of them as you, you know, like I said. The other nice thing about this is that you're able to drop them in. Uh, meaning you can put these plugins wherever you want in the signal path. So, you know, compressor first, EQ, whatever you can, and you can put them in, in any order. I'll just keep doing it here until you see, there you go there. Now I got five. So up to 15. Awesome. The other really awesome thing is that now when you're using automation and you're dropping your automation points, uh, you know, you know, click on and it drops the points just like any other DAW, but Finally, GarageBand made it so you can double click on these points and they are deleted, right? It just makes setting up automation a lot easier um, and a lot more efficient if you don't have to hit the delete button because as I'm sure many of you know, you can have thousands, <laughs> thousands and thousands of automation points and like having to hit the delete button a thousand times, you know, whatever. It's easier to just double click and make it disappear. Um, now, those are the two features that I think are, you know, the most impressive right off the, you know, the things that I discovered so far that have been like, awesome. That's a great upgrade. I'm so happy you're doing that. The couple of things that are probably hidden that you might not know about are under the track menu. So if you're looking for your groove track, um, like in the older versions, it still has the groove track. It's just here under this sub menu track header. And obviously I'm showing my groove track but there it is um track lock is here the record enable button if you're trying to multi-track you know running more than two microphones at a time you're going to need the record enable button and obviously you can show or hide the monitor button um that is awesome oh obviously you know the drummer this particular project i'm working on doesn't have an automatic drummer track on it but the automatic drummer i love it and i'm going to be making a video about how to get the most out of your auto drummer because it's super cool and really versatile if you know how to use it properly. Um, oh, and the other, the last thing is just this sound. Here's the song. Here's a song that I'm mixing for, you know, one of you guys, a regular viewer. Um, uh, I'm just going to play the first few seconds of it, but I love this indie disco bass sound. It's, a, it's under a drum machine for some reason, but it is a bass sound. I'll play it for you. I'll just solo it for you here for a second and I'll let you hear it. Right. Uh, it's a great sound. Now you hear it in a whole mix. So you can sort of understand what I'm talking about, why I'm excited about it. I just think it's awesome. I'm so happy that we finally have that really grindy, beefy <laughs> bass uh, synthesizer sound. I think it's super cool. So I think that's pretty much it. I want to keep this video short, but what I would love is if you guys have discovered any new features that I didn't cover, because I'm sure there's many, many more that I haven't talked about. But anything you've discovered or like, oh, that's sort of a cool hidden feature, leave it in the comments below or definitely come over on the Facebook page and join us there. Oh, and obviously, you know, if you want me to mix your song, I do mix songs for you guys. Check out the details at garagebandandbeyond.com and uh, sign the mailing list over there if you want awesome discount prices that happen like once a month for short run discounts on stuff that nobody gets discounts on except for us. 
I think that's it. You guys, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate the fact that you watch my videos. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you soon later.